Hey, this is Hunter from Black Valve Media, and today we are looking at Sony's Imaging Edge webcam app that they recently released that allows you to use a Sony mirrorless camera as a webcam. So we're gonna check it out today and see what kind of features it has and what it takes to get it set up. Also, we're gonna check out what kind of programs it can be used in. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get the Imaging Edge webcam app downloaded and uh, we'll go from there. So first we're gonna hit the download button. It's supported on Windows 10, so that's important. Um, it's not, it seems to not be Mac compatible or at least right here it's not showing that. It's gonna have you select your camera model. Now these aren't super easy to read. It's not, it's actually the model number, which I don't think a lot of us are used to reading. Um, so we have the A7 III. So I think it's gonna be 7M3. I think that's right. Let's do a quick Google A7 III. So this is a lot of cameras that are uh, available, but I think the process for them all is roughly the same. For this video, we're gonna focus on the A7 Mark III. Um, as that is what we have. So we selected our model, we're gonna hit download. So when you click download, choose where you wanna save your file, and I'll show you from here how to set it up. I talk with my hands a lot. All right, so we clicked on this file and it basically just like popped up really quick, said it was extracting, and then when you expect a, oh, I see two wizards. All right, so once you double click on this, be patient, because we were kind of sitting here scratching our heads like where is this thing? So it took a minute for us to actually get the wizard to show up. So here we are in the wizard, we're gonna, we're gonna read all that and then we're gonna hit next. We're gonna read all that for sure and hit agree, we read it, hit next. And we're gonna hit install. <laughs> yes, of course we wanted to delete our hard drive. All right, and then it's asking if it is okay to install this driver. You're gonna say yes sir, hit install and that's it. Clicking finish. From here, it is noted to restart your computer, so we're gonna do that. All right, so once you've installed and restarted, it should just work. There's no interface to get into, it's just uh, basically a driver. So let's power this sucker up. All right, she's powering up. She's powered. We're gonna pull our little covers off here. Once you turn your camera on, you're gonna to go to this how to use menu and you're gonna see that connecting any other camera than these two, there's two steps for that. Now the first step is turning off the control with smartphone feature. Now that is in the menu. So the first step is to go to menu, network, and control with smartphone. You gotta turn this off in order for this to work. And the second step is to go to the little toolbox setting and set up find USB connection, which is under the fourth page. Go to USB connection and change that over to PC remote. So at this point, you should be ready to connect this to the computer with the USB cable. All right, so at this point, you're gonna take the USB-C cable, and plug it into your computer on one end. The other end, you're gonna plug it right into the camera and you still have access to all your settings. So let's set up a little shot of our little fan here. Just wow. All right, so now we're gonna launch Zoom just to see if we've got an image. We're gonna click on settings, video. We're gonna change this to Sony camera imaging edge. Takes a second to launch and bam, we've got a feed right from our camera. You're cute, but you're loud. So now that the camera is working, we're gonna get this thing set up in what we have for our setup to see kind of how you could use this in your everyday workflow. All right, so I'm gonna unplug it just while we're doing this, just so it's a little easier. So our 6D is up here. We have a really great video about that. Check it out, see how that can be used as a webcam. Super awesome. Um, but first I'm gonna pull this down. We got a little GoPro monopod. It kind of just rests the camera up on the monitor, which is kind of perfect for what we're doing. You know, you, don't, you can put a little tripod up if you'd like. You can use a full-size tripod, anything, you know, whatever, whatever you can spare on the daily to sit behind your setup. It's super nice to have it always set up. Nothing beats walking in and just having it work. We're gonna take this monster. We're gonna plug him up right there, plug him in. 
and bada bing, she's showing back up. All right, now we've got our high quality video. Let's see what kind of programs it can work in. All right, so let's see if it works in Skype. All right, so once you're in Skype, you're gonna hit settings, you're gonna go to audio video, and it's automatically selecting the Sony camera. There it is, bam, right in Skype, piece of cake. All right, so once you've launched Skype, you're gonna click on user settings, go to voice and video, and change your video camera to the Sony camera imaging edge, and then click on test video. So launch the Sony thing, and bam, right into Discord. Okay, so now we're in OBS. Let's check it out, see if it works here. We're gonna hit add. We're gonna go to video capture device. Hit okay. You can name it if you want. And this is the Sony Imaging Edge. Bam, right away, working right into OBS. So that's super awesome. And it's coming in at 1024 by 560. Is that right? And this can be scaled up to fit your screen there. Check your focus, change your settings, change your picture profile, pretty much do anything that you'd want to do with the camera normally, and it can show up right on the computer. So this is super helpful. You don't have to go through any sort of special card through HDMI or deal with any of that. You can plug it right in through USB and it just works. So if you don't have a Sony camera or a Canon camera that can already do these kind of things, one thing we recommend is this HDMI USB generic uh, webcam adapter and basically you just take your video out plug it in through hdmi plug it in through usb and one of the advantages is you get audio through that so any embedded audio you put into the camera shows up through the webcam so this is a really sweet thing we have an awesome video showing how to use it so given this day and age where social distancing is a thing this kind of thing is super helpful especially if you want to have a better look for your video or if you don't even have a webcam we, we honestly don't have that many webcams kicking around and more and more of us are, are doing video calls this is an awesome way to do it so this is a super easy way to get your a7 or any sony camera into the computer as a webcam thanks for watching if you have any questions please put them in the comments below if you want to find any of these things we've talked about and where to buy them online we have links in the description that support this channel thanks a lot